Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sitsuki, your host. Today I'll be talking about why you should not buy DJI Spark just yet in Canada. The reason for this is because of the new Canadian drone law that's in, in place for a couple months now. Now this is interim uh, Canadian drone laws and so there will be some changes happening in June. We don't know yet what that will be. However, as of now, even with the weight for DJI Spark being uh, 300 grams, it is still under the laws, which means that you cannot fly uh, above people if you're uh, within 75 meters, all right, laterally. I'm not talking about, you know, diagonal, but laterally. So, you know, the DJI Spark uh, video promo showing you know, people flying over each other and doing selfie, that's a no-no in Canada. You cannot do that because it's still 300 grams. So if DJI, if you're listening, build a drone that's less than 250. I don't care if the battery lasts for eight minutes, as long as it's under that 250 grams and the camera is still a very good camera with two axis uh, gimbal. Now it would be nice if you have a 4K, but that's okay if it's 1080p, but it's really good quality, I'm okay with that. But because it's um, 300 grams, it still fall under the Canadian drone laws and we cannot fly it. I know you're trying to make this nice video showing it's a selfie video uh, drone. Well, sorry to tell you this, DJI, you cannot fly it in Canada. I don't know if you're building for the Americans, but according to the Americans, they're also saying the same thing. If it's 0 0.55 uh, pound, you still have to register it. You cannot just fly it anywhere. You have to register it. And a lot of Americans are not like that. So if you want to be technically uh, a great company and uh, for, for follow through with you know being able to allow everyone to have a drone that they can fly then make it under 250 grams all right and that's all I want to say because if you're gonna buy DJI Spark there's no difference from buy, buying that than uh, Mavic Pro because Mavic Pro is also uh, you cannot fly it in public that's in a city or in any place that's within 75 meters uh, according to the Canadian uh, drone laws so I would rather buy Mavic Pro or the DJI Phantom 4 Pro because it makes no difference if I have, I have a DJI uh, Spark or I have DJI um, Mavic Pro or DJI Phantom 4 Pro or even the Inspire 1 or 2 or even the S1000 because they fall under 250 grams to 35 kilograms in Canada laws that are treated the same when you uh, fly it recreationally. So really it makes no difference DJI if you're doing the uh, DJI Spark. You can do all your video promo you want, but we cannot fly it. That's the truth. And if you want to change uh, you know, your spec, that'd be great. Then we will be able to do it. But please, everyone who's buying DJI Spark, be aware of that uh, Canadian drone laws. Uh, it might change in June. I, I'm praying that it will. Then we're good. Hopefully, they'll bring it up to 500 grams. Then we're all fine. But if they keep it 250 and they don't change anything else, well, we're ha we have this uh, drone toys that are just sitting in our garage, a paperweight weighing, uh, you know, $700. And you can't fly them unless you go to the boonie land, which is, you know, somewhere in the wild. Hopefully there's no animals around because <laughs> you cannot fly over the animal either. All right. So thanks for watching. EducateTube.com.